What are we talking about? Real shit or are we talking about rhymes? You talking about millions or are you talking about mine? What are we talking about? Because I ain't got time for what people be talking about all the time. What are we talking about? Fiction or are we talking about facts? We're talking about fiction. Hold up. Pardon my back. I'm talking about life. Bro. What are we talking about, really? Like, really, what are we fucking talking about? Again, I've spent a good week. Again, I have spent a good week watching YouTube, watching Instagram, and what people have to fucking talk about. Why do people put so much of their energy and time into shit that really doesn't fucking matter? Shit that shouldn't fucking matter. I've seen all last week and the week before, still carrying on this week, about this fake homophobic attack with this guy, what's his name, Jussie, Juss, Jesse or Jussie Smollett. Apparently, he's an actor from the show Empire. I don't fuck with Empire. Never have, never will. Been telling people to stop fucking with shows like that anyway. It's like, as black people, we're always out here on the gram, on social media, talking about we want movies and shows to represent us black people in a better light, and yet we still don't sit down and watch derogatory, like derogatory black fucking shows. Like, why are we still sitting down watching bullshit shows like this? Empire, Power, Blackish, like all of these stupid ass fucking shows that still show black people in a fucking derogatory light, like the same sort of stereotypical shit that you fucking hear from people in your day to day life about black people anyway, or people from across the fucking world that say they just have like a one belief of black people because of what they see on the television, and this is what they fucking believe about black people. So now we've got this guy, Jussie Smollett, and what people are fucking talking about about him faking his own homophobic attack, come to find out the whole shit was fake, and it's just like, now nah, people are just talking about this. You got people on one side of whether he should go to prison for lying and trying to scam the system, and then you got other black people who's just like, look, we shouldn't want our black people to go to jail, regardless of what the fuck they did. So it's like, well, if you have that sort of saying, then why the fuck was we talking about R. Kelly a month ago then? If we don't want to see our black people go to jail, why the fuck was we talking about... I know, I keep doing this arm shit. But why the fuck was we talking about R. Kelly a couple weeks ago? And if now with Jussie Smollett, we don't want to see black people go to jail for just any crime regardless. Like, we just don't want to fucking see it. We've spent, we spent a good couple weeks talking about this fucking dude. A good couple weeks. And if it's not that, what I'm also seeing now is a bunch of, is a bunch of butthurt white males about the Captain Marvel movie. All over fucking YouTube right now. All over YouTube right now is a bunch of butthurt white males talking about the the, the actress Brie Larson who, who is starring as Captain Marvel and her comments during the whole marketing for Captain Marvel about her not wanting to see too many white males and something about 40 year old white males and blah 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 and blah 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 blah. So white males are coming out in their droves talking about this is racist and I'm still trying to figure out how the fuck a white woman saying she doesn't want to see too many white guys at her, at her press conference. I'm not sure how the fuck that can be racist if she's white too. But, but I digress. Let's go forward. It's just like, so people are now talking about, yeah, let's just fucking boycott this thing. And it's actually working too. It's actually working. You've got hundreds, maybe even thousands, maybe even thousands of butthurt white males right now who are going to boycott this movie in the next couple of weeks. And it makes me sit down and think to myself, hmm, so we can boycott a Marvel movie because of, SJW shit, you know, this is what they're calling it, SJW, social justice warrior shit, wokeness, all of that shit, so we can boycott because of that, because a white woman says she doesn't want to see too many white males at a press conference and then all of these white males lose their minds by saying it's racist, we can boycott this, but we can't actually boycott the system, still, bro, What the fuck? <laughs> like, what the fuck? And then to top that off, I'm seeing right now, and then to top that off, I'm seeing right now again from the black pages on Instagram and how ecstatic they are that Black Panther won free Oscars. Because Black Panther won free Oscars. Everybody's over the fucking moon. Losing their shit when about three years ago, about three years ago when Jada Pinkett came out and said fuck the Oscars because black people aren't getting any sort of recognition 
every black person was like, yeah, fuck the Oscars. Fuck them. And now we're over the fucking moon because of an overrated movie. And I'm, I'm going to be real. Black Panther was an overrated fucking movie, bro. I'm a black person myself and I'm saying it. That movie was overrated. But people are losing their fucking minds. Black people are losing their fucking minds because he won, because the Black Panther movie won three Oscars. This is what we're fucking talking about. Jesse Smollett, the Oscars, and Captain Marvel. Races like this, bro. I'm tired, man. I'm fucking tired, bro. I didn't even want to come, like, I didn't want to come in here and even rant about this shit, but that's what the fucking channel's for, so I spent a week, I just thought to myself, let me spend a week sitting down, watching all of this shit go down, let me just watch all of it go down, just to see, just to see, man, just to see what, how it's going to freaking be, like, in the next couple of weeks, and then it's like, now nah, you got, I think R. Kelly now, nah, he's being charged, so now people are now tripping some more about this shit now, they're like, yes, so it's like, the same people saying, yes, he's getting bag for his shit is like contradicting themselves saying they don't want to see Jussie Smollett going for faking his own homophobic attack I swear we stopped watching TV anyway man that that's all I remember I just remember I just remember that everybody was just like yeah you know what fuck TV fuck all of this shit I'm not fucking with television boxes anymore, television boxes. I'm not I'm not watching the program box anymore. MK Ultra, all of that shit, chemtrails, all of that shit. I'm not fucking with any of it. And then now here we are again talking about the fucking Grammys and the Oscars and who won what. You know what I'm saying? Cardi B winning the fucking Grammys and people tripping the fuck out again. I'm getting like I'm still getting comments. I'm still getting comments for my fuck Cardi B video right now. I'm getting videos for people telling me to do another Cardi B video, like another fuck Cardi B video. But I'm thinking to myself, fuck that. Fuck that bitch. I've already done a video. I don't need to do any more videos about this thing because it's like I've spoken about this shit already. I spoke about the mumble rap video as well, like about a, about a year ago, almost two years ago, I done a mumble rap video talking about my beliefs and what mumble rap really and truly is. And it's like now people are starting to think like, people are starting to scope it like, no, you know what? Mumble rap really is like low frequency music to make us seem like fucking animal because these fuckers don't even speak English no more. You know what I'm saying? And then at the same time, we still got, like, we still got a uh, nickname, nickname Natalie's going on. <clears throat> like, nickname Natalie's. Like, either white women or white men who's calling the police on black people just doing nothing, minding their own business, hopefully trying to get them killed. And we're still giving these people nicknames, still diluting the problem by giving them nicknames and laughing about it. Same with the Gucci shit again. We're still talking about this Gucci shit online as well. I'm like, bro, what are we talking? What are we talking about, really? What are we talking about? That's why I like, I'm not bothered about any of this shit no more. I'm not fucking with any of these movements anymore. I'm on my own fucking lane. I'm in my own lane. I'm on my own island right now. And I'm not involved in any of this shit anymore. I'm not. I'm still gonna rant. I've still got my podcast coming up. But bro, what the fuck? Like, why go on for people, man? So this just this Jossie Smollett thing is gonna go on for about another week, I reckon. It's gonna go on for about another week, I reckon. And it's just like they're gonna give us something else. They're gonna give us something else to talk about as well, because we know how the, this whole homophobia movement right now is. Like, you know what I'm saying? Where it's just like you can't say anything about transgenderism. And oh, speaking of transgenderism, man like man like Don Cheadle. Who saw that? Who saw that picture with Don Cheadle wearing a t-shirt that says support trans kids? Because this is also something else that they're pushing on us right now as well. They're basically telling you as a parent, you shouldn't be genderizing your child anymore. Your child should choose their own gender when they feel like it, you know? So if your son has a big dick swinging, he might not be a boy. He might just be a girl with a big dick swinging. Let him figure it out for himself when he's hit that age, you know? Or you could dress him up in drag. I spoke about this shit too. Like, I don't know why, I don't know why people are now starting to speak about the things that I spoke about a year and two ago. Pedophilia, been speaking about that. Now all of a sudden people want to be speaking about it because it's now becoming more predominant in the fucking news. So now everybody wants to be speaking about it. Mm. Been there, done that. Bro, I don't know, man. I didn't even give a fucking intro. That's how bad it is. I didn't even, I didn't even give an intro. I'm frustrated, bro. But this was a perfect rant. 
It was a perfect rant, and I don't even got no fucking points. I just wanted to rant. I just wanted to rant. I don't have no points to any of these fucking rants right now. I just wanted to rant about this shit, about what the fuck are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about? Are we going to get our fucking minds right? No, we're not. We're not. Easter's coming around soon. Let's prepare for all of those who want to go out and buy chocolate eggs, shall we? This is your boy KMD. This is Rant Radio. I'm out. Peace.